Welcome to Networking Rx, a podcast devoted to helping business professionals like you enhance your networking skills in order to become more proficient giving and receiving quality business referrals and improving the overall quality of your life and the lives of those around you. The Networking Rx podcast is a production of AmSpirit Business Connections, an organization whose mission is to empower business success through networking. This is Frank Agan with AmSpirit Business Connections, and you are listening to the Networking Rx podcast. Welcome. Appreciate you being here. I'm going to share a story today. I have a friend who lives in St. Paul, Minnesota. He's a consultant type, gets around, works pretty much throughout the entire country. In addition to consulting, he's uh, he's a savvy business guy. He and his wife owned a vacation property in Mobile, Alabama, near Mobile, Alabama, down near the uh, the Gulf Coast. Now, if you're sketchy on Alabama geography, trust me, it's on the coast. It's it's on the water. His his property is not on the water per se, but it's it's near the water. Um, I think it is uh, southwest of, of Mobile. It's neither here nor there. Um, any rate, he's got this vacation property. And uh, we've talked about it from time to time. Uh, I don't necessarily, I don't vacation much. So I don't really have an interest in going to it. He gets down there from time to time. Uh, the rest of the time, he rents it out. VRBO, vacation rental by owner. And uh, probably makes a little bit of money. Worst case, he's breaking even on the property. Um, might retire there. I don't know, but it's neither here nor there. Uh, so that was that's you know that's a little backstory. A few weeks ago, I was having a conversation with an individual met off of LinkedIn, and it turns out that this person is lives in the Mobile, Alabama area, again on the coast. And um, so I'm thinking about it, and as I meet people, I'm always trying to connect the dots. Okay. Who do I know that needs to know this person? Who do I know that could benefit from this person? Who do I know that this person could benefit? Um, and that's that's kind of always swirling through my mind as I'm as I'm talking to people. Certainly, I'm looking for opportunities for my own business and Am Spirit Business Connections, but I'm also kind of going through this Rolodex thing in my head where I'm trying to pair up people uh, looking for mutually beneficial connections and many times those things work out sometimes they work out in a big way Uh, sometimes people will become friends sometimes they become business colleagues sometimes they go nowhere but generally speaking I'm trying to make these connections so as I'm talking to this guy that I met off of LinkedIn he's in Mobile uh, I find out that he's like a, a super connector down in that part of Alabama. So as we're talking again, my mental Rolodex is going and, and my friend who's up in St. Paul area didn't come up immediately, but as we're talking and I'm kind of going through and we're continuing this conversation, you know, my mind is just kind of twirling through this, or flipping through all the contacts that I have. Then it dawns on me that, you know, I've got this friend in Minneapolis or excuse me, St. Paul, Twin Cities, uh, who has this vacation property down in the Mobile area. And I'm thinking, you know what? I should connect these two. I, you know, you just never know. And so I mentioned to the guy in Mobile, the, the super connector down in Mobile, Alabama, I said, you know, I got this friend. He's got a VRBO down there, gets down there from time to time. Um, he's kind of an Uber business person all over the country. And uh, the person down in Mobile was kind of starting out and doing, uh, doing some consulting with companies, leadership, uh, culture building type things. So at any rate, we're, you know, we're kind of talking and the guy down in Mobile is like, yeah, that would be great. would love to, to meet your guy and connect. And maybe when he's down here, we can go have a beer or, or whatever. I wasn't suggesting that one should be a client for the other or they ought to partner up or that there was anything aligned like that. Just the fact that they each kind of have this commonality of Mobile and, and maybe that's not enough to make a connection. But in my mind, again, you just never know. So I threw it out there to, uh, to this guy in Mobile. And he said, yeah, sure, that would be great. Now, before I made the connection, I reached out to my friend who's up in the St. Paul, Minnesota area. And I just said, hey, 
Just had a great conversation. Guy I met off of LinkedIn. He's down in the Mobile area. You still have that vacation rental property, right? Well, in fact, that was this was all done through text. And I said, you still have that vacation rental property, right? Responded back, yeah. Um, and I said, great. I just connected with the guy down in Mobile, Alabama. And uh, he's like a super connector. I thought I might hook the two of you up. Maybe that would be a worthwhile connection for the two of you figuring yeah great you know we can have a the two of them could have a quick call and hey i'm going to be down in you know whenever whatever time of year february usually i think he and his wife usually try and get down there during the winter months um for a week or two and and uh, probably avoids the hurricane seasons but at any rate um you know next time he was down there the two of them can kind of get together and you know I, i don't know You know, you just never know. Uh, And so I don't really have this whole game plan put together in my mind as to how it's supposed to work. Uh, I make connections, and I'm not a matchmaker. I'm not trying to kind of piece it all together. Sometimes it's readily apparent that things can and should be pieced together neatly. You've got a roller skate. I've got a key sort of a, a, a mentality. But here it was just kind of a, eh, you know, maybe the two of you should talk. Um and uh, so anyhow, I, I texted this to my friend in Minneapolis, and his response really kind of caught me off guard. He basically said, you know, listen, unless this guy's going to send me referrals, I really have no interest in meeting him. And I was kind of, you know, I just let it go. Um, I responded back and just said, okay, um, think on it. And I did, I think I did put the, the, the phrase in there, you just never know. Um, and it, and it kind of bothered me. Um, I, and I didn't say anything to my friend, um, but it still bothered me. The, the, just the, just kind of, hey, cut it off. I don't want to meet anybody. And maybe there are those out there that would disagree. To, would might say, hey, you need to have more of a, you know, there needs to be something more than geography to kind of connect people together. And in my mind, there was because they're both kind of business people, um, and they're both kind of out there. They're both trying to meet people, and you know, you just never know. You know, you never know where this is going to come from or, you know, who knows who. Uh, and, you know, as I was kind of going through and, okay, how do I respond to my friend in Minneapolis? Because I think he's being somewhat short-sighted. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe the guy in Mobile could refer him clients. You know, what if the guy from Mobile is not originally from Mobile, moved down there with a job opportunity before he decided he was going to be this this consultant and he's got family from various parts of the country, family and friends that want to come visit. And, uh, he, uh, you know, going to suggest for them to go to a, a vacation rental property. In which case I think it would be a great person for my guy in Minneapolis or St. Paul, uh, twin cities. I should just say the twin cities, but at any rate, you know, maybe that's certainly the possibility uh, you know, I don't know that he's, I don't know when I say he, I don't know that the guy in the Twin Cities, St. Paul, is going to get referrals for, from this person for his vacation property. But I do know this, he's not going to get anything without the connection. So why not have the connection? Why not a five, ten minute phone call just to get acquainted? Hey, what do you do down there? Where do you work? Here's where my vacation property is. Maybe it's a situation where I connect the two and my guy who in Minneapolis, Twin Cities, who's got this vacation property, you know, he's in a jam. He needs a plumber. Um, it'd be nice to know one more person down in Mobile, Alabama, especially somebody who's uber connected. You know, I don't know. You know, maybe the guy down in Mobile, Alabama can't send him business but knows some people who have some fishing charter businesses that would be another connection that could, that, an introduction that he could make for the person with the vacation rental property to kind of keep, you know, keep on their radar. So the fishing boat captains know that, okay, you know, here's a guy who's got a vacation property. So when I have clients that are coming down and want to fish, I can refer them on to somebody. Again, you just don't know. So, I mean, this is a, just a quick little episode just to kind of get you thinking about 
the whole notion of you just don't know. And I'm not advocating, I wasn't advocating, that my guy in the Twin Cities, you know, fly down to go have lunch with the guy in Mobile, Alabama. I was just basically, all I was expecting is, is maybe the two of them get on the phone, get acquainted, get on one another's radars, exchange emails, and I would make the introduction via email or via LinkedIn so they could take myself out of the middle and see where it goes. Again, you just don't know. We never know with respect to these situations. And so, you know, five, ten minutes here to have a conversation, certainly I wouldn't put my, I wouldn't put either party in a situation where they are going to be pitched by the other uh, in an aggressive way or any way. I, I, you know, I don't like that, so I don't like to set people up on those things. It would just be just kind of a, hey, why don't the two of you get acquainted and you just don't know. Maybe there's something here. So why not? So just something to think about as you're out there dealing with people in in your world and uh, you're connecting others and being connected to others. Be open-minded about it because you just never know. You just never know where that simple little connection is going to lead to another connection or lead to something big. Um, you You just never know. Finally, to wrap up, remember Amspirit Business Connections has a unique franchise opportunity that involves helping small business professionals become more successful through a referral-based networking program. It only involves a couple hours in the morning, a few days a week, and is a great franchise for an attorney, accountant, realtor, business coach, consultants to add on to what they're already doing. In fact, all of our franchisees do something else for a few hours in the morning. A couple mornings a week, they work the Amspirit Business Connections program. The rest of their time, they're doing other things. Why just be a renter when you can own the building? Why just be in a business network when you can own the business network? If you or someone you know would like to learn more, please contact me using the email at the end of this podcast or the one we provide in the show notes. Thanks for joining us on the Networking Rx podcast. Please put what you've learned into action today and let us know if you have questions, comments, or ideas for future topics. You can email them to us at podcast at amspirit.com. That's A-M-S-P-I-R-I-T dot com. Finally, so you never miss an episode, be sure to subscribe to the Networking Rx podcast through iTunes, Overcast, or however you receive your podcasts. Now get out and network with someone. The Networking Rx podcast is the copyright production of Amspirit Business Connection. All rights reserved.